What's up, turkeys? Welcome to FT Record. For the record, my name is Roy Lee Reynolds. My name is Tony Bruin. We're here with special guest Tucson Bully, Dominic Detola. Hey, what's Dom. going on? And holy shit, man, th this is going to be so good. We had a great time listening to this and running our mouth, drinking while we're talking to this. And uh, we're doing some Maiden, man. Dom, you want to talk about this shit for a second? So we listened to Peace of Mind, Iron Maiden's uh, uh, second album with Bruce Dickinson as lead singer fantastic probably my favorite and a lot of great songs uh, front to back yeah all right you have the most soothing voice yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes we we have heard the dom de tola radio voice <laughs> all right all right dom you, you're the big fan of this album man uh give me give me highlights of this shit man what did you like um all of the tracks on the album. <laughs> all uh, all would be my favorite, the... capital A. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Revelations, uh, track two, fantastic song. And then we follow that up with Flight of Icarus. Icarus yeah. And then um, Die With Your Boots On. And then The Trooper, which is probably the coolest song about the Crimean War. I'm going to go Trooper. Yeah, Trooper. Their biggest hit. Oh, I don't know, man. Do you think that or Number of the Beast? Like, biggest. Probably Number. Honestly. Yeah, you think? Okay. Yeah. All right. But all right. not that the trooper isn't fucking badass. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll buy I'll buy that because, yeah, I've seen them both at, at a concert and like, yeah, number hit the hardest. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Everyone just screaming. Yeah. So yeah. Awesome. Definitely. Tony. I just heard it all The day, least so. maiden person here. <laughs> What's your thoughts on it, Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's my favorite. I, I am new to rock and roll and Iron Maiden's fucking tits. <laughs> All right. What scene in a movie is playing when you hear this? This song? Um, What's going on? Fanboys. Just fanboys? <laughs> yeah, even though it's Kiss. And like, show me the scene. No, we're not kissing, break break, the, scene. break the scene down. Oh, it's like, what, what's going on? Like, you're. It's just when they're in the van, you know what I mean? And they're going, they, they follow Chewie. It's just a Star Wars geek fest movie. If you like um, Star Wars and, and fanboys, but it was Rush was the favorite band in that in that. Uh, what was that guy's name? I don't remember. Hutch. Yeah. Hutch. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, there was a period of my life where I only played Iron Maiden in the car. All right. I believe that. Yeah. So Elias, we know you're watching this. You're the only one that gets this. <laughs> Anybody else, like quite often, Tony likens albums to like movies or a movie that don't even exist. Yeah, and that's kind of what true. was going on there. <laughs> you know, he's like, yo, we lose the public enemy, man. They're fucking robbing a bank. And that's what I'm thinking about. And you're like, it's not what they're rhyming it about. But that's the vibe they give off, you know? And, <laughs> you know, so that's kind of what happens here, man. All right, Dom, you've seen Maiden how many times? Uh, three times. Three. Yeah. Best Maiden story, go. Um, best Maiden story uh, with my best friend at the second one, and they played uh, Blood Brothers off yeah. of, uh, I think, Brave New World. Oh, man, it was so good. What year? 2010. What drugs were you on? Uh, no drugs for that one. Just Whoa! Booze. Right, right on. Just booze. The only time I saw Maiden, I was just on booze. I was, if I did, I, this was 2007. What Maiden? Elias. Put in the message below. This is our only fan. Yeah. Elias, uh, what Maiden album came out in 07? I don't remember the name of it. But we, if we didn't have the worst seats there, we had like the fourth worst seats. <laughs> like there were four motherfuckers that had shittier seats than us. And uh, my buddy Jesse and I got drunk off our fucking gourd. And there was like dad, who is my, my age now, so dad was like fucking 40. And then son, who was 10, and he was like the, yeah, this is real rock and roll thing. Me and Jesse's drunk asses are one row behind him, and we're like double fist and concert beers that are like 14 <laughs> pounds, $28. Yeah. Goddamn, yeah. You know, we got two of them in our hands. Well. We're, we've been day drinking. We're drinking them and spilling them all over the kid. <laughs> Dad wants to whoop our ass. We're drunk assholes. We understand why he wants to kick our ass, but we still flex anyway because drunk <laughs> assholes. And they played the whole album. I don't remember the name of the album um, because, again, we don't research. Uh, and I don't always remember very well. But they played the whole new album, and then they played a few of the greatest hits. And as soon as they laid into Number of the Beast, my toxic twin, Jesse, just, like, disappeared 
And then I walk down like a few rows up and I look and I see the dude in the pit like from fucking throwing fists and shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I want to make a show, a documentary with Randy and uh, uh, Randy Ford going to concerts together. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a documentary My- where me and Randy Ford go to a concert together. I th- I've never been to a concert with him. But we're both fucking rednecks and like yeah. Just both of you guys jump in chairs if you feel like it. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Randy, move back to Tucson, cocksucker. Because he likes metal. We need to do a that. fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah. It, Randy's not going to see this. He's not going to see it. He's not going to see it. Anyway, Randy Ford's a Tuc- used to be a Tucson comic. He, Very funny cat. He lives in, like, butt scratch Alabama now. Um, I hope he's still doing comedy while we're in COVID. I don't know what the fuck. But anyway. It, uh, yeah. We we were the uh, to- token show. Southerners in Tucson. All right, anybody, uh, give me your best Iron Maiden memory. Not necessarily at a concert, but Maiden adjacent. You're at the keg party. You're you're high out of your gourd. You're whatever the fuck. You're getting pussy. I don't know what you know. If you uh, got put. Do you ever get pussy to Iron Maiden? Because respect. Of course I have. I've never gotten pussy to Iron Maiden. Yeah. It's like, am I American or what? No, seriously. Am I British or what? You know what I mean? No. Uh, I've never gotten pussy to Maiden. Be- best Damn. Maiden-related memory is probably uh, one weekend um, at last, a fucking gig, get set and just crushed, and I went up to Revelations to perform their first album. Dope. And, like, just the beginning, like, as it's starting up, oh, man, it's so good. Ne- next time you and I do the Irish Power Bomb on stage at Laughs, we're going to make them play Maiden. <laughs> We're gonna tell them. We're gonna tell whoever's working, working the thing. Like keep it going as we do it. Oh yeah. Yeah. God, I used to knock those guys. We'll, we'll do that next time we do that. All right, Tony. Yeah. Final thoughts on this album, man. I want to. Uh, I want to raid a castle. <laughs> raid a castle. <laughs> I do. That's the best comment I've heard this whole. I want to just since like, we started playing <laughs> it. That's the best comment I've heard. I want to raid a castle. Are you gonna be wearing armor? Yes, absolutely. All right. Behind me with like maces and shit. Yeah, there like, you we're go. Fucking take Is it gonna castle. be now by homies like cholos with maces and shit? Yeah, right? but with armor. Yeah. So it just sounds like echoey as slurs. Are you gonna paint? Your, up, fool? Are you gonna paint your face blue, Mel Gibson? Uh, yeah, blue, but with the bandana like logos on it. Oh, very nice. Oh yeah, I'll dig it. All right, yeah, like my final know. thoughts are not my typical final thoughts. Don't get excited, Tony. But we were listening to this. My gal pal was listening to like the first half of this with us, and she said. Because she's not metal, like at all. No. She's, she's, she's anti-metal. She was, she's anti-metal. Um, but she was like, he's singing up high, right? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, like but it's like sure. metal. It's like macho. And we're like, yeah, kind of. Yeah. What's your thoughts on like the tough guy singing up high? Tony. I don't give a fuck. You don't? All right, Dom. I don't care if he can do it right. It's Sounds amazing. If you're, sounds t- if you're moving tickets and it sounds good, like if you look, if you're getting whatever you want, like Bluetooth, you're doing it. You yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, if you're sticking to so yeah. all that bullshit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get at your job, you get rewarded. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, yeah, we we were doing that, and I I always liken this band to Judas Priest, and I'm a bigger Priest fan than I am a Maiden fan. Um, but Rob Halford was like, whoa. Hope you guys heard that on that show. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Rob Halford was like the tough guy, and he took pictures with, like, sexy women and shit. But he wore, like, the leather with the bus driver hat and, yeah. you know, and all this shit. Mustache. And, yeah, he had, he had the stash. And, and, th- and then when he came out as gay, everybody in metal, um, because we're more progressive than we get credit for, we're like, all right, cool, you're gay. <laughs> When's your next record? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and and that that was our attitude. And we're like, uh, we we like that you sing like that you're... high because everybody else I listen to doesn't. Yeah, you know, and that's dope that you do. And kind of you being gay is like the most uninteresting thing about you. Metalheads only care when the music stops. Like this is still yeah, like, yeah, right. Yeah, fucking turn the record back on, yeah. fucko. You know, uh, uh, you know, but uh, you know, and then I think like. He quit Priest, and then came out of the closet, and then he did those. He did fight 
and then I forget the name of the other band he was in. Man, that was the hardest shit that dude ever put out, man. I don't remember the name of the other band because, again, I'm a drunk asshole and I've been drinking. Um, <laughs> and you're and, an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm an asshole and, you know, I'm, I'm just not on my game all the time. But uh, but th- those albums he put out before he rejoined Priest was like the hardest shit, man. And that's when he was like on the road with Pantera and Pantera would bring him on stage and shit like that. And, uh, you know, it was, it was fucking rad, man. And, and that's my attitude with all of it. It's like, you know, whatever, cool. You know, I like the cats that sing them high, and I like the cats that do it down low. And you, you want to talk about cats sing up high? Let's let's add Rob Halford to the list. Let's add Steven Tyler to the list. Let's add Ozzy Osbourne to the Ozzie, list. Yeah. You know, let's add Dio to Dio, that list. Yeah. And you're like, all right, you know, let's go down low. You know, that's that's your Phil Anselmo's. That's your Buzz Osborne's. That's, you know, your Henry Rollins and... And you know that's that's rad too. That that's my attitude with it. It's like I, I want the full gambit when Question. it comes to my shit. Iron Maiden, Jeopardy, category category worthy. Oh, dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they get it's they get easy, like yeah. all five categories, and you Just you Iron yeah Maiden. yeah yeah. This is the Iron Maiden edition, and they can get a whole show. All right. I mean, you go like Iron Maiden lyrics. Iron Maiden members, Iron Maiden albums. This never Maiden made me care about like yeah, yeah. The right yeah. songs never made me care about like I want to fucking ride a horse and take a goddamn castle. There you go. Like, I yeah. wanted a torch, and I wanted a catapult going on behind me, like when I was riding up to the fucking castle. Like, yeah. Every time it was gonna be different. That, I don't know why. Well, the first, I was saying the first song, uh, "Where Eagles Dare," is about a raid on Hitler's castle. Oh, that's in the probably Alps. why. Yeah. 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 But mm-hmm. still, I want it. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, Tony. Yeah. If you want to listen to this album, how would you go about doing it? You got to go and click the link down below so you can listen to Iron Maiden because it's a fucking great album. Because yeah. also, it's Dom's favorite album, and Dom's my brother, so you have to listen to it. And it's great. It is a great album. Yeah, go you have to listen to it. Go Elias it should be made. He's probably listened to it. You have to do it again. <laughs> and what else could you find in the links below? If you want to check it out, uh, we have this little thing called Bullies of Volume One. That's our album with. This guy, Dom Detola, closing it out. Yeah, He's the closer. This guy. Yeah, that's right. He's the guy with the baseball bat. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. That's Kneecaps right. for staff. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, check out Bullies Volume 1 because we're all on it. And it's a fun album. It's great, man. Yeah, just do it, man. And uh, yeah, we're just happy to see it. And if, you know, I, I just got one hand gesture for you, man. It's just this right here. It's this one. What are you doing? Oh doing? shit! Oh, oh shit! Hang on, sit yeah, back down. Yeah. Sit back down. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, yeah. We're gonna keep this shit running. Oh yeah. What's up, fellas? Hey, What's up? How we doing? Good to How see you. Doing? How, we doing? How are you? What's sir? up? What's up? Look in the camera. We just closed podcast? out, but look at this. We're Since gonna close out for a second time. Right here. Yeah. Everybody yeah. do it right here, cause we got oh, yeah, all four bullies. Right here, in the middle. Meet in the middle. 